Hi, Jay Fallon. Thanks for listening to The Slippery Slope. Okay, I think these two stories are very important, especially when you look at the Bible and what it says about Israel and, uh, you know, the upcoming war it's describing in Ezekiel 38. And I'll just I'll uh, explain, explain that to you in a second. Uh, first, I'm going to read a little bit from Ezekiel 38, just so you can follow what I'm, uh, just so you can see what I mean. Okay, in Ezekiel 38, Ezekiel says that the word of the Lord came to him and he's, he's prophesying and talking about Gog of the land of Magog and Rosh, the prince of Rosh, Mashesh and Tubal. Uh, he says in about, uh, from verse 7, let's say, prepare yourself and be ready, you and all your companies that are gathered about you and be a guard for them. After many days, you will be visited in the latter years. You will come into the land of those brought back from the sword. He's talking about Israel and gathered from many people on the mountains of Israel, which has long, long been desolate. They were brought out of the nations. And this is what we saw happen in 19. Oh, we didn't see it, but this is what we know happened in 1948. And now all of them dwell safely. So he's saying they at the time that this happens, Israel is dwelling safely. It's what he's saying, and he's he's saying to um, he's saying to uh, Rosh, this leader, saying, "You will ascend, coming like a storm, covering the land like a cloud. You and all your troops and many peoples with you." Thus says the Lord God: On that day it shall come to pass that thoughts will arise in your mind, and you will make an evil plan. You will say, "I will go up against a land of unwalled villages." I will go to a peaceful people who dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates, uh, to take plunder and to take booty, to stretch out your hand against the, wa the waste places that are again inhabited and against the people gathered from the nations who have acquired livestock and goods who dwell in the midst of the land. So basically he's going to go up, God's going to put a hook in his mouth and he's going to attack the land of Israel because Israel is going to be dwelling in safety. There's going to be peace. So Gog is going to have this thought, hey, I'm going to go down and attack Israel because they're living in peace. Living in peace. This is why I think these stories that I'm going to bring up are very important because even though the Middle East is in turmoil right now, and there is, you know, obviously extreme war happening. Uh, Hamas, Hezbollah, Israel, Iran. Or Israel is just fighting on, I think, I think it was like seven different fronts, something like that at the moment. But the tide has turned. The tide has turned. So let's check out these stories, what's happening at the moment. Okay, so this story on MSN says uh, Israeli Defense Minister Katz says Israel has defeated Hezbollah. Uh, so he's he said on November 10, it's uh, November 11 here in Australia at the moment, he says that Israel has defeated Hezbollah and that eliminating its leader Hassan and Nasrallah was the crowning achievement. So I'm not going to play the video because he's <laughs> he's speaking in in Hebrew. But uh, another story that came up as well was this one about Qatar. Qatar quits Gaza peace talks after kicking Hamas out of the country. Uh, so it's withdrawn as a key mediator for a Gaza ceasefire and, ha and hostage deal and warned Hamas that its Doha office no longer serves its purpose, a diplomatic source has said. The country has also told the terror group to leave the country after the US complained they should not be able to seek refuge in the Gulf country. The Qataris informed both the Israelis and Hamas that as long as there is a refusal to negotiate a deal in good faith, they cannot continue to mediate, the source said, on condition of anonymity. So a couple of things here I believe is happening. Uh, the, the first thing is Qatar, I think, may have had a had a slight change of heart in what who they wanted to back here because of the American election, okay? They can see that there's going to be some issues if Trump, obviously now Trump is going to be back in power, and the Republicans, they can see that there's going to be a bit of an issue here, and they're like trying to maybe hedge their bets a little bit. Also, Israel are obviously winning the war, this war which is ultimately backed by Iran. 
Israel has been defeating. They've defeated Hezbollah. They've just, they've smashed Hamas. Uh, they are currently seemingly having some great inroads when uh, pushing back against Iran. So Qatar can see the writing on the wall. And so they're saying, hey, you know, we want to pull back. They're trying to hedge their bets here. So what I think is happening is that we are going to see peace coming in that region of the world. We're going to see uh, Israel defeat its enemies and Iran is going to pull back. Okay, and then Israel is going to have like a quasi peace. They're going to uh, be, feel all safe, feel like they've conquered their enemies and that everything's going well for them. However, in the long run, this is just setting up for the coming Gog Magog war. That's what I think is happening. What the Bible said in Ezekiel chapter 38, this upcoming war, um, when all those nations will come down and attempt to evade, invade Israel. I believe that this current war is just currently it's it's about to finish. We're going to have this peace be set up. Israel's going to be living in what it feels is a safe environment. Uh, unwalled is going to say, "Look, we've conquered. We we've had all these aggressors. We've pushed them back. We've conquered. We now have a time of peace." And this is when the war is going to happen. This uh, this other Gog Magog war. That's what I think is happening. I think we are seeing Bible prophecy playing out right before our eyes. Mark my words. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm Jay Fallon. Thanks for listening to The Slippery Slope. For I want to serve you Lord, and have your way yeah. And mold me and change I want to serve